800XA now more closely follows the EMUA 191 guideline than ever before. Uh, and we do that by bringing a lot of alarm functionality and alarm management inside of 800XA. So third-party systems are no longer required. Some of the functions that are available uh, inside of 800XA are the alarm shelving and the alarm hiding functions that are uh, depicted within the 191 guideline. And if I want to simply shelve an alarm, I would bring up the alarm list here and I either select an individual alarm or I select a group of alarms. And by a simple right click now, I'm able to shelve those selected alarms, the reason for shelving those alarms, uh, and then as soon as I've selected the OK, then those alarms become now shelved. They will no longer enunciate an alarm list for the period that they are shelved. That means they're not contributing to the KPI statistics on the alarm management system. We can simply get access to the shelved alarm list by again selecting at the top of the box here, which is the shelved alarms, and that's the status of the shelved alarms uh, that are currently existing in 800XA. If then we look at the alarm KPI status, over a period of time, we would see the amount of acknowledged, unacknowledged, shelved, and hidden alarms. This data can be viewed at any time, uh, and it's real-time data on information directly taken from the 800XA system. Another way to get access to the hidden alarms is through uh, a new feature within 800XA called Snapshot Reports. The Snapshot Reports can simply generate a list of any property within 800XA. Uh, in this instance, it's shelved alarms. In other instances, it might be set points. It might be any safety systems in override, inhibit, in manual, for instance. Uh, and by simply selecting the particular pre-configured snapshot report, we generate an Excel type list that we can right click on and we can bring up all the aspects that we've seen previously. In this instance, I can bring up a faceplate. The faceplate then indicates to me that this particular object is contained in a shelved alarm list. 800XA also provides easy access to typical user functions or maintenance functions such as operator trends, alarm lists, uh, or documentation that may be required to do some troubleshooting functions. Uh, some typical uh, type information is we're able to get access to an operator trend. Uh, and this operator trend displays no data at the moment, but we can simply drag and drop information directly from the workplace into the trend display. Uh, and this will then display any logged or long-term data uh, that's available within 800XA. Uh, we can utilize the full workspace there. Uh, likewise, we can have uh, pre-configured reports uh, for traces that are useful uh, on a more regular basis. Uh, and this is an area trend. Uh, and by selecting this, again, we can drag across the workspace. Uh, and we can utilize the full area of the workspace simply by dragging the box uh, all the way across. Uh, and there's the full trend data. This is historical data based on the length of logging period. Uh, on the instance of this, this demonstration system, uh, we're logging for four hours. Uh, it could be four months. It could be four years. We're able to zoom in uh, on a particular part of the trace by simply dragging a box closer in here. Uh, and what we're seeing now is we're actually seeing five minutes of process data. From that trace, I'm able to get access to the data and the values directly on the trace uh, down in the dialog box at the bottom. During this troubleshooting process, I may want to get access to process documentation to start troubleshooting the process itself. Uh, and again, we can simply do the same thing by selecting from a single button click. We're able to get access to the process diagram itself, which in this instance comes in AutoCAD format. Uh, and whilst it's in this format, we're able to zoom in uh, and navigate around the process uh, just like you would on a standard piece of paper that you would get previously from a filing cabinet. If we thought this was particularly useful uh, or I wanted to discuss it with a different part of the plant, I can simply right click and say send to uh, and that send to function then will allow me to transfer this document anywhere on the plant regardless of how distributed it is uh, and then we're able then to do exactly the same function down here drag it right across the HMI system, zoom in, and then what happens is we're all discussing exactly the same information, exactly the same process, and hopefully we're all going to come to the same conclusion to prevent that all-important plant shutdown. 
With the aspect object technology and the integrated nature of the ABB asset management system, from a right click we're able to get direct access to the intelligent data from instrumentation or devices in the field. Here we're able to get access to this pressure transmitter and from the DTM I'm able to get diagnostic or parameterized information uh, directly onto 4 to 20 milliamp signal. Uh, that's the same whether we use Profibus PA, DP or Foundation Field Bus. If we decide that there is a fault with a particular instrument through the intelligent data, then again we can simply right click and assuming a SAP or a Maximo computerized maintenance systems connected, we can generate electronic work orders directly from the right click. Not only that, we're able to also get access to active work orders, spare parts, and also work order history directly from the HMI. ABB's 800XA system combines all process control, safety management, electrical, and telecom aspects of a plant in an ergonomically designed environment to allow operators to run the plant safely and efficiently. Additionally, the system gives them access to relevant information to do their jobs, assist them in creating work orders for others and facilities to obtain expert advice either locally or remotely. Management information is also immediately available to quickly identify any situation that reduces the protection of the plant, personnel or the environment.